don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rapping like that. Hey. 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 Bombing on you niggas. I'm trying to start a super fight. Now we got another one. Here we go. You already decided to drop a battle while I was doing the goddamn Fonz and Kayshawn review. And then I was like, oh, snap. Gucci versus Mav. Now I got to talk about it. Well, let me tell you something that also happened while I was recording as well. Apparently, Sue Surf was talking mad spicy. He was talking mad spicy. He was like, I don't think I've seen Mav win a battle. I don't think I don't think that, you know, there's a good setting where I think Mav is going to be good and things like that. Mav said... Hmm? Hmm? Let me get in the phone. You trash. You trash. You are trash. See me. I was like, because that's why I was doing this a lot. When y'all see the, if y'all look back at the video, mind you, also watch the video back. You also see that I was looking at the screen while crazy because I'm like, what's happening right now? This is crazy. But anyway, we got to talk about it. The reason why this all happened is because Super Fight is the new card that's coming out. I mean, you know, we just came off of the whole double impact. It was dope. I believe that that event was a, it's a good eight and a half. Y'all know why I said eight and a half. It was going to stay at an eight and a half. And I'm willing to push it up to a nine. If y'all put the battle that I want y'all to put out, put that shit out soon. Hmm? 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 Not to mention, how you going to talk about this super fight? Right? And you ain't put out shit from the last super fight. I just, I just want to know what's going on. Where's Mike P versus Real Sick? I just want to know. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. URL. Hey. Hey guys. Where's where, where's these battles at? Stop dropping cru crucible battles out. I mean they're good, but no. I'm not even gonna tell y'all what I heard. That's a whole nother that alright, we we just gotta let's just get into this. Let's just get into this. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Pop! Two minutes in, let's get it in. Super fight is going down. Main event, let's talk about it. Geechee versus Math. Who do I have winning this battle? Let's talk about consistency over the legacy. Let's talk about longevity over new buttery hotness right now. And we're talking about literally Geechee Gotti is touching everything right now and he is on fire. He's doing everything to the podcast, to the no studio podcast. No matter what, I bought it. That's a nice hoodie. That's a nice hoodie, Vada. That's nice. You got a medium for me? I just want to know what's good. Anyway, when we talk about Mav, you know, my expert opinion, we got the, now he on the road with the my expert opinion. Now he doing live read between the lines. Literally, Mav is doing it. So it's like the battle of the bloggers. Is it the battle of the super battle bloggers? Is it the, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I know it's a lot of tension between the two. Mav been asking for this battle for a while. He's saying Geechee can't fuck with me. He's saying Geechee can't touch me. That's what Mav was saying. I remember Mav saying it on his show. That's why he was saying it on his show. And then I remember Gigi not even mentioning Mav on the show until it was time to mention Mav on the show. I'm just saying. So you wasn't worried about somebody that was worried about while you was worried about something that you ain't even needed to be worried about. And then when you heard somebody was saying something about what you were saying, you had went to them because they were saying something that they wasn't worried about. Y'all won't catch that all later on the footage. I'm just telling y'all, man. I'm on a roll right now. Who's going to win this battle? Me personally, right now, right now, the iron is hot. Gigi just came off that two on two with Swamp. He also got the top tier um remix verse. That was one of the hot verses, and I know what he said. And I feel like Vada Fly gonna react to this, and we did react to this. So it's like anytime Gigi moves, we move. Anytime there's talk about Gigi making moves or doing something on his car, he got his own card. These are things that are elevating. So I gotta say, lyrically though, lyrically though, Math is in that small rut where. He knows he's saying some hot shit, but we're not receiving it the way that he is putting it out. Because the last time we seen Matt, he was doing a lot of the mixy, mixy, you know, and I ain't like none of that. It sounded like y'all did that in the booth, and I didn't like that, but it's cool because I let it go down, you know what I'm saying? The babies was crying for that. But all I'm saying is, 
Mav gonna have to show something because a lot of these legends right now are not looking good. Mav, you gonna have to do something to keep the legend's name alive. Now, now Cassidy and, and Hitman Holler is already one thing, but Cassidy is not no rookie, so he's battling. And Hitman Holler is already a legend, so we gotta make sure that main event is the main event that's main event in the main event. Now, this main event needs to be a main event because we just had an issue with the last main event. Ramble is over. I still got Gigi 2-1. Now, we're going to sum it up real, real quick. I don't think Suge deserves Danny Myers. I don't think that Suge deserves a pin. I don't feel that way. But did you see Suge's last performance? Because he definitely got 2-1 on, on B-Dot on a slight edge. And B-Dot got a pin. All I'm saying is, it is possible when you put somebody in front of somebody, the opportunity shows itself. Suge ain't no rookie. Suge won't give you all performance. The problem is you're battling Danny Myers. Danny Myers don't give a fuck who is in front of him. Danny Myers has battled has battled Taco Bell Tony. He has battled Hitman. Uh, he has battled Hollow the Don. Okay. He has battled uh, uh, Gym Store Gems. You know what I'm saying? Not not Gems. That's the gym. But literally, uh, there's a dude who works in a gym store, and his name is Jim. He battled Gym Store Jimmy at the laundromat. That was the fake. It doesn't matter. Danny Myers is battle tested. All right. I got Danny Myers two one. Big T versus Bill Collector. I really feel like Big T has to show and prove something. I did like his diss track to everybody, but we all know that Bill Bill is the most unorthodox. The way that Big T raps is unorthodox, but you don't know what you're going to get from Bill. You're going to get from Big T, Bill, Bill, Ill, Bill, or Bill collect when will collect, but I collect what they'll collect. They won't have to take Bill with the will. I'm, listen, you're looking good, though, you know what I'm saying, with the weight loss and all that, T, but at the same time, Bill is also battle-tested. Bill is also in here. I'm just saying. Not to mention Bill is on this whole thing where... He doesn't want, like, niggas don't really rock with him, so he really want to kill something. So him killing you, Big T, is when you by the wayside, who wins this battle if one person, if one person basically beats the other? Does it really do anything for anybody? No, but it's how they die. Big T, if you really make a mockery, or, a, or if you kill Bill Collector the way that you made people look at Rum Nitty different, that's possible. If you could do the bill collector, which you did to New Jersey twerk, and made him seem like he was obsolete, oh, New Jersey twerk is on decline. Was big T definitely beat New Jersey twerk. Come on now, let's. I'm here for this. I am here for all of this. But let's not act like Bill Collector and Marvel Horn wasn't no old school type shit. Both of their flows was in and out. Let's not act like Bill Collector don't get them names. Hmm. Bill Collector already battled DNA. He already made it a nice one. The face off is gonna be dope between the two of them because it's gonna be funny as hell. But let's let's not forget. That both of these guys are going to be showing this. But to me personally, got to go with Bill Collector. It might be a little bit of PA bias on this one. I guess so. But I'm just going to throw that out. I'm just saying Bill Collector is a little bit more polished than Big T. But I'm glad Big T is coming back. All right. Uh, last but not least, one of these battles is something like the other. Because one of these battles is like, hmm, how, how did, okay, how did you, how did you get this? How did you do that? How, how, how did we, how did we do this? I just want to know why why this battle is going down because we already know what's going to happen. I got JC winning his battle versus none none. Um none none you had to show and prove you did your thing. But I got to go because clearly the babies is crying cuz they don't want to hear about that last battle. They want to see JC versus a Aber. They want to hear about JC versus a goddamn Loaded Lux. They want to hear about JC versus a Sue Sir. You know I'm crying about it too. I'm upset. I'm upset. But before I get mad, let me just tell you, none, none. You had a lot to prove. What you did versus Shotgun Sugar was what you did versus Shotgun Sugar. You beating Shotgun Sugar is what got you to this level now. So it gets you to this stage. So the only thing you got to do is keep showing and proving and keep doing what you're doing, none, none. Please, prove me wrong. You went through the tournament farther than the people we thought you was going to lose to in the first round. So you showed and proved. A lot of the thing is that you're going to be showing and proving your whole battle rap career. And let me tell you something. There's somebody at the end of the line that's going to say, damn, none of them really put in that work. All right? Now let me get up out of here because clearly somebody is yelling at me. Hey, Big Dog! Great work, Showtime SP, the ambassador of that. Notification gang, I go by the name Butterfly. I tell your mama I said hi. Salute every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. So I'm gonna do this real quick. URL 
super fight going down this weekend and you know it's got some battles on the card some are interesting some have you like what is this here so JC vs. None None, Bill Collector vs. Big T, Shotgun Shug vs. Danny Myers, Gishi Gotti vs. Math Hoffa. Um, JC vs. None None, I'm going to just make it real short so we ain't got to go to court. JC should not even be battling None None, but for some reason JC finds himself battling in small battle after small battle after small battle. I think he has Don Marino, he probably has Microwave Manny and Taco Bell Tony in the next three weeks. Um... I don't know. I, I got JC winning. This is one of those battles where JC wins. Uh, when he battles these guys of lower names, he just, he, he three O's, three O's, three O's. Um, respectfully, none none has stepped up his catalog. Maybe none none could get some of that juice back and get around, but I definitely have JC winning this battle. Um, Bill Collector versus Big T. Big T has lost like a hundred fucking pounds. Salute to Big T and everything that he's got going on in his life. Uh, he's been coming a motivation to a lot of folks, you know what I'm saying? Losing weight, he's got his shit together. I probably weigh more than, no, I don't think I weigh more than Big T, but right now, Big T has lost so much weight that it's an inspiration, but that shit ain't got nothing to do with battle rap. Bill Collector, um, you know, he's been doing his thing more consistently recently. If Big T could channel some of the energy that we know Big T from, the Aunt Vivian, they did me wrong. The 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 smearing the smearing the smearing the which which smearing the smearing. I gotta see what Big T's rapping like. Um, I definitely do. Uh, if his rapping is anything in comparison to his weight loss journey, then he's gonna beat Bill Collector three up. But Bill Collector has a way of being solid and getting around opponents and things like that. Uh, Baylor is 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 smoking Gonzaga right now, by the way. But um, Bill Collector has a way of maneuvering through battles. And being able to crack jokes, he's gonna he battled Dre Dennis and Dre Dennis lost a lot of weight. We liked you better as a fat nigga. Oh, they liked you better as if that was the verbal war zone. That was actually pretty dope. Um, give me Bill Collector two one in this. Bill Collector just finds a way to get around opponents and dance through. Shotgun Shug versus Danny Myers. Uh, this is a battle that Shotgun Shug has wanted for quite some time. Shotgun Shug did way better in his battle with B Dot than a lot of people probably expected him to do. Um, he's always wanted these pins. He's wanted to battle with Danny Myers for quite some time. But listen here. This is Danny Myers. Danny Myers ain't lost a round all year. Uh, all of his battles, from going back to drugs, 3-0. Uh, he battled uh, Don Reno. That was another win. Uh, he had a one-rounder. That was another win. He just battled. Um, he battled Arsenal. Wait, he battled Arsenal. He three would him. Uh, then he battled on the other card not too long ago. He had another three. Listen, man. Danny Myers ain't playing with no fucking body. Three O's all year. He's handing out thirty bags, thirty sacks of work. I would like to see if, 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 if Shotgun Shug can make this a competitive battle. But with the way Danny Myers has been cooking, niggas. Danny Myers is a safe money. Oh, Kid Chaos, 3 0 him too. And he's been catching so many 30s, I forgot how many 30s he got. He got so many 30s, I forgot how many niggas he been 30 in so far. Um, Shotgun Shug, I can give you a round respectfully, but Danny Myers, I got Danny Myers winning the battle. If you're going to beat him, prove it. Um, Gishi Gotti versus Matt Hoffa. Gishi Gotti versus Matt, listen. So, Gishi Gotti got a lot of battles this year. Uh, he's in the URL Ultimate Madness Tournament. He's got Math Hoffa. He's got a one rounder. He's got some other shit going on. He's got, he got a lot of fucking battles coming up. Uh, that could potentially be a hindrance to him. All these battles coming up in a short amount of time. But the thing is, I seen him and Math Hoffa go back and forth. And Math Hoffa wants a lot of respect for things that he's done in battle rap culture. And I agree with him in some regards. But I think he places himself way, way higher than a lot of his constituents and counterparts will give him credit for. I heard him trying to go back and forth with Geechee Gotti about battling with Method Man. That was a studio recorded battle with The Undertaker music. So a lot of battle rappers ain't giving him no credit for that. They like, nigga, you went to the studio, recorded the battle, and then went to a set and did like Cats on Broadway, like, Ta -tum, Ta -tum, like they ain't not counting that shit. So I, I'm just I'm just calling like I call it so I can't spoil it. Um, as far as with, um, Kishigari, 
he does this shit now. I seen Matt Hoffa not really giving credit to Gigi Gotti for what he does, but I'm like, bro, he's doing this shit now on a consistent basis, like week for week for week for week for week. Gigi Gotti got one blemish on his whole record. That's versus A Ward, and that's because he should have took that battle in the cafeteria with only the lunch lady and the janitors there. But he's got like fucking 30, 40 battles where all of them is either debatables or he won. This is a battle where Gigi Gotti is pretty much going to be predicted to win. Most people will feel like he will win. I got Gigi Gotti 2 1. Matt Hoffa can make it interesting. If Matt Hoffa could beat a Gigi Gotti, he can change the trajectory of his whole career. But I personally feel like we would. And I feel like. And I feel like. Butterfly going to recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the half, bro. Is Gotti gonna catch a 30? Everybody's gonna predict Gigi Gotti win. I'm I'm sorry. It's just this is the way the way of the world. If Math Hoffa is gonna beat Gigi Gotti, he has to go through it. Like you're not gonna be given no slack or you're not gonna be given no 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 bonus by going in there. You have to go prove it. That's one of them joints where if you're gonna do it, Math has to go do it. Overall, card is pretty cool. It's a short card. That's dope because it don't keep us all fucking day and all fucking night. Um. And it is what it is. But other than that, you already know what it is. Salute to every single one of y'all. Salute to my guy Showtime SP. Gang.